Well, hello there, Class 79AB, and hello, Step. My name is Pete Wells, and I would like to say a big thank you for doing my stories. That makes me really happy. And thank you for sending me your lovely questions. I would love to answer them. First off, though, I would like to say that I watched a video of you guys doing Surprance About and the Dragon. And I thought these were very good, so well done. We'll talk about the ending in a moment. Firstly, though, I want to answer your questions. So, question one, M asks, did I always want to be a writer? Well, do you know what? I didn't. When I was your age, I was a bit strange and I wanted to be a teacher. Ugh. And I'm very lucky because I got to be a teacher and I'm still a teacher sometimes today and I love it. It's a great job. So remember, lads, that you always have to, to treat teachers really well, okay? Because the next ones could turn out to be sensory story writers like me. But when I became a teacher, I started doing stories with my class. And to be honest, I didn't like very many of them. So that was when I decided I would write my own. And I really enjoyed writing them. And other people enjoyed them too. And I'm lucky enough that teachers like Steph and teachers all over the world are using them in their classrooms and that makes me super happy. So I didn't want to be a writer, but now I'm very pleased that I am one. Question number two, what made me think of Goblin Hood? Well, a little secret, lads. Goblin Hood is based on a child that I used to teach. He was a boy called Matthew. And what he used to do all the time was slabber on his fingers. And then he used to flick it around the classroom. And he was amazing. There's not a single target that his spittle couldn't hit. Boom, boom. He would spit on me. He would spit on me nursery nurses, he'd spit on his friends, he'd spit on the school cat, he'd spit on the head teacher. <laughs> he was amazing and I really liked him. So Goblin Hood was inspired by him. <laughs> the third question is, am I making any new books? Well, the good news is that I'm always making books. I've got one of those silly brains that never seems to go to sleep. And I'll be walking along and bing, I'll get an idea and I'll quickly write it down. So I'm always writing books. The even better news is that some of those books are being published for real. The next question, which I think must have come from the terrible two Lewis and Robert, um, was, are my characters real people? Well, sometimes they are. So I've talked about Gobbin being a boy that I used to teach. Um, you've just seen Millie the Mermaid there. And she was inspired by a real person from history um, called Grace Darling, who used to live in a lighthouse and rescued a load of sailors that crashed. So she was based on a real person. And the dragon from Sir Prance About and the Dragon was based on a lady called Steph Aitken, a big, scary, horrible teacher. So yes, lots of my characters are based on real people and some of them just come straight out of my silly brain. 
Sometimes I decide to write a story about um, something that I think is important, like the environment or bullying, and that way it will be a character from inside me brain. The last question is, what is my favourite story and why? Well, now, I'm not sure if um, you're asking what's the favourite of my own stories or my favourite story in the world. So I'm going to tell you both. So my favourite story of my own and a one that I know that you lads would love so um, Steph's got a download it from my website, sensorystoriespodcast.com. It's called The Amazing Adventures of Sweaty Pits McTavish. And it's about a superhero whose superpower is <coughs> super stinky sweaty pits. And there's some fighting in there. So Lewis... And Robert be over the moon. Uh, there's some stinky cheese in there, um, and there's a man in a frock. So it's a, a lovely story that I'm sure you lot might enjoy. Um, so that's the favourite of me own. Um, I'm very fond of Sheldon the Snail as well. It's one of the nicer ones. Um, my favourite story that I haven't written is a one that you might have heard of that comes around every Christmas written by a man called Charles Dickens and he wrote a story called A Christmas Carol about a man called Ebenezer Scrooge who on Christmas Eve he's a nasty man he gets visited by three scary ghosts and they show him his past and his present and his future. And at the end of the book, spoilers, he goes from a nasty man to a lovely man. And the reason I like that story is because it makes us frightened because it's got ghosts in. It makes us cry because it's very happy at the end. and. It's all about Christmas time, yay! And I love Christmas time, so that's why I like that story. Um, my favourite author, which I know you haven't asked, but it's a man called John Wagner, and I'm a little bit of a, a nerd, and I read comics, and my favourite comic is called Judge Dredd, and John Wagner writes those stories, so he's my favourite author. So, I think you fellas would like him too. Lots of fighting, lots of blood and gore. So, maybe you can get some Judge Dredd comics in the classroom. So, that's it. So, I'd like to say good luck with Prance About and the Dragon. If you need any more from me, any help, or if you would like me to write you your own special story, then get back in touch. I can't wait to hear how Lewis and Robert are going to change the ending to surprise about and a dragon. I'm sure it'll be better than my soppy, sloppy ending. Thanks for getting in touch, Class 789 EB. You're brilliant. See you soon. Bye.